Greetings, and welcome to Security Insights. My name is J. Peter Brzezzi, and I'll be your host. In this episode, the theme is AI Voice Scams, and it's based on cloned voices generated by artificial intelligence. You think you're talking to a family member, a friend, or a colleague, but you're not. You'll be surprised at how easy it is to clone a voice these days. Here's one example. Note what it says. Clone the voice of anyone in seconds. You just need one audio file of the voice you want to clone. After this, you can do like a text-to-speech with your cloned voice. Here's another example. Within 10 minutes, if you have an audio sample of a person's voice, you can get a cloned voice. All it takes is a few seconds of audio. The bad guys can grab this from social media, or they can call a person and record responses that can be used to impersonate them. I tried this out myself. Here's what it produced. Greetings, and welcome to Security Insights. I'm excited to talk to you today about artificially created clone voices. It sounds pretty close, doesn't it? Pretty scary, huh? I know, AI makes some of us nervous. We're worried about a future AI battle. But the future evils of Skynet aren't here yet. Today, most of us are still trying to figure out what to do with AI tools. But the bad guys know what to do. They know how to use them for advanced scams. Typically, these scams involve family members. A child or grandchild calls saying they're in trouble, and they need you to wire money. With text-to-speech AI engines, they can type out responses in real time to keep you fooled. This article claims $11 million was stolen in 2022 using these kinds of scams. This same technology can be used within the corporate world. You get an email from the CEO telling you to wire transfer money to a vendor. Now you've been taught to verify before sending. But before you can do this, you get a call from your CEO. She confirms that she just sent you that request. Immediate trust kicks in and off goes the wire transfer. Wait, is that the procedure? The CEO calls you? Was that the CEO's phone number that showed up? Stop. Back up. What's your company policy? Think about it. A C-level person like the CEO is bound to have audio clips from interviews they've done on YouTube or even the company website. It would be super easy to clone their voice. You need to validate. Here are three tips to help you to avoid being fooled by a cloned AI voice scam. Number one, establish a family, friend, or work environment code word. Ask for that code. If they give it, you know it's them. Have an alternate one to indicate if they're in trouble. Number two, don't trust calls from unknown numbers. Verify by calling the person back on the number that you have for them. And number three, follow company policy. In that scenario where the CEO calls, if the policy is that you validate with the CFO, follow your policy. The policy is meant to be taken literally. It's not a suggestion. Don't panic. Take a deep breath, slow down, and think. That's how you avoid an AI voice scam. Well, we hope you found this episode of Security Insights insightful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.